Let's get this up a little higher. Okay. Whew. <clears throat> okay. Good morning and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 484. Ah, we're going to need my microphone in here too, aren't we? Where did I put it? There it is. Somehow, the scheduled podcast didn't stay scheduled. Hi, Jill. Good morning. So nobody was in pre-chat this morning, which means we'll have to wait for people to get their notifications. But that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Hi, Jamie and Lucy and Naomi. Thanks for joining live. Someone can tell me whether or not the microphone sounds good. Thanks, Jill. Hi, Crochet CC lady. Hi, Carol and B-Girl, Glory, Lily. Thanks for joining live. Hi, Kathy. Thank you. Glad to hear it sounds good. Wonderful. Hi, Naughty Little Skein. So I have been scrambling this morning to put some stuff together because the weather didn't look like it was going to work to go to the beach and I really wasn't sure I had time because I have an appointment so shortly after that and um, I was going to do something out in the backyard and then I thought, you know what, it might be fun <laughs> to pull a yarn and then pull all of the sample garments I can think of in that yarn from my bins and I can show you remember those bins we talked about last night there are my bins organized by book so each one of them represents one of my books or my website pattern so one of those bins is filled with layers crochet projects one is filled with motif magic projects one is filled with 80 handmade gifts projects one is filled with layers crochet projects. Oh, did I say layers crochet on the other one? This is layers knit. So one of those bins each represents projects from these four books. And then the other two bins, oh, then there's another bin that represents all of the, well, whatever I have left of the free patterns on my website. And then the sixth bin is unpublished projects, which does not include another bin that has projects for book 18. <laughs> that one's on the floor over there because I've been working on that one the last few days. So I will end up needing two more of the storage bins to stack once book 18 is done. But in the meantime, it's fine uh, because it's something that I'm moving around still. If you're joining me live, please say hello. Looks like lots of people are finally here. Hi, Grace and Melissa and Martina. Somehow the record, I did record, I did schedule the podcast last night, but somehow it didn't stick. No idea why. Hi, Crocheting Diva and Janice, Diana, Becky, Judy. Thanks for joining live. If I missed your name, it wasn't intentional. Thank you for joining live. So... I scrambled to pull some yarn together because I thought it might be fun and I didn't think it was going to take that long to do. It did take a long time to do, but that's okay because I think it's going to be fun for everybody. And I'll do this on other videos too, so or podcasts too, so maybe once a week or whenever the mood strikes, I'm going to pull all the colors of any given yarn and then um, pull the pro projects in that yarn and we can do a show and tell. Yes, the podcast did not stay scheduled. I scheduled it last night, but somehow it didn't stay scheduled. So that's why you didn't receive uh, notifications. <clears throat> oh, that's why you didn't receive advanced notifications. You probably received notifications at the last minute when I finally did go live. Anyway, let's... Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to need to lift this up just a little bit higher. Try that. And I wanted to get to the yarn page on my website just in case I forget some of the names of the yarns as we go here. I'm going to try to remember project names and yarn color names this morning. So I have a feeling that I might... Uh... Well, there's one that I can't remember the name of at the moment. Ah, 
Now I remember it. Okay, so I thought we could get started and I'll show you the, na the colors of the yarn first. And so today we're going to do Be So Sporty yarn. And so I pulled Be So Sporty and Be So Sporty Bling. And then I pulled all sorts of projects from different assorted books and patterns on my website that all use this yarn. And hopefully I'll remember the names of everything and maybe some of you can help me out if they're projects that you know and love or projects that you've made. So we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll get started with Be So Sporty Bling here on the end. So these colors, well, let's start with Be So Sporty, I guess. Go back to Be So Sporty real quick. just to double check that I have the names right. Okay, so we'll start on this end. This is Be So Sporty yarn, which is 100% bamboo, number two sport weight yarn, comes 325 yards per four ounce hank. This is Golden Child, all spruced up. You gonna see those okay from back there? Can pull it closer. So this is Golden Child, all spruced up. London Blue Topaz, Fire Coral, Raspberry Cooley, uh, what's this one called? Red Maple, and Gentle Violet. And then this is the bling version of Be So Sporty Yarn. And we can go back to that page just so I can double check the names. This is funny, this is the first time I've had um, problems remembering names only because I'm trying to remember the names of the garments and the books are coming from too so I guess my brain's maxed out this morning plus I'm rushing <laughs> so okay so be so sporty bling is 90% bamboo 10% pure silver which means it is be so sporty yarn with a thread of pure silver not metallic lorex synthetic fiber pure silver plied right into the yarn and it gives you this beautiful subtle sparkly uh shimmer it's absolutely gorgeous i know a lot of people here have used it before so if anybody feels like leaving a testimonial for either be so sporty or be so sporty bling um, i know other people would love to hear from you more than me about what it's like to work with it um, this is so the rest of the colors i'm going to show you now all of these are hand dyed by me in my studio this is colorway all spruced up this is lioness Make sure we get these on camera. This is Coyote. This is Pink Dragon Fruit. This is the color I couldn't remember and freaked out and brought my laptop this morning. Anyway, now I'll remember the rest. This is Flaming Foliage. Don't know if you can see all the colors on here, but this has a beautiful bright pink, bright berry pink, and a darker red, and some coral and orange. It's really, uh, really beautiful. This is Chantilly Lace which is also available in the Be So Sporty yarn. I just didn't grab it. This is Sunrise 06, Sunrise 07, and this is Moonbeam. These yarns are all available on my website. And when you order the yarn, do I have one in here like that? No. Uh, when you order the yarn, it comes in a drawstring organza bag with a pod of Rapture, my all-natural delicate wash. Let's see if I can... I'm mic'd up, so I don't know how far I can reach. I don't have a pot of Rapture in here, but I can show you a bottle of Rapture, which, are also, which is also available on my website. This is my all-natural delicate wash that is no rinse formula, super safe, non-toxic, biodegradable, and it, ha it is scented naturally with the essential oil of night blooming jasmine, so no synthetic fragrance either. It's super, super safe. Um, you can and a, a sample size, a one serving sample size of this amazing delicate wash comes with each ball of the yarn so that you can try it out. Does anybody have any questions about the colors or want to see anything up close? Otherwise, I will get started showing you some projects that you can make with uh, Be So Sporty yarn or number two weight yarn. Let's 
So wait a minute and make sure that I don't miss anybody. Ah, naughty little skein. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's so sweet of you. We got a super chat this morning. <laughs> Yeah, the notifications didn't come out, Lisa, because the podcast didn't stay scheduled. I scheduled episode 484 last night, but for some reason I must not have hit save properly. Um, and it wasn't sitting, it wasn't there when I went to go live this morning. But glad you all could find it. And for those of you that don't find it, you'll hopefully see the recorded version later and still enjoy it. And if anybody has any questions there, by all means, always feel welcome to leave me comments and questions in the recorded version of the podcast because I do have the ability to see those throughout the day. I get notifications about comments all day long. Um, so your comments and questions won't go unnoticed. Does anybody have any other questions about wanting to see these colors up close? Uh, the photos on my website are zoom inable. I know that's not a real word, but I like to make up words sometimes. <laughs> um, so you can zoom in to see the colors closer there as well. Um, but if anybody wants to see these up close, I can show them now. Otherwise, I'd really like to show you some of the garments that I pulled this morning and maybe try some stuff on. I wore very simple clothing this morning so that it would be easy to try things on for you. Oh, there's a couple pieces in sport weight yarn back here. Um, good day. Do I sell the yarns unwound as a skein too? Not really because... Uh, I feel like so many people really just want the yarn already wound into a ball. If somebody wanted them in a Hank version instead, they could certainly email me and ask me to ship their order unwound. But I find that most people are much happier to have me do the labor for them. So I just wind them into a ball. But if you would be, would you, if you would prefer Hank, just simply send me an email with your order number right after you place your order and I would be happy to uh, do that for you. So we've got a couple of garments back here from Layers Crochet and Layers Knit. This is the Bibiana top here. This one is done in this one is done in Be So Sporty yarn and this project comes in lots of sizes. Let me double check on the sizes here. So this knit sweater takes two or three balls of Be So Sporty yarn and it makes the project in sizes 36, 40, 44, 48, and 52 inch bust. And it's worked in the round seamlessly. You work the body all the way down, uh, you know, start at the neck, separate for body and sleeves, work to the bottom, and then pick up your live stitches to create the sleeves. Uh, so it's all done seamlessly. Then, ah, you're seeing one of my hacks. See how I have? <laughs> these mannequins on uh, a folding table and a bin. I haven't found a table to put back there yet. This beautiful piece is the Morgana cold shoulder poncho. This piece is done in Be So Serene yarn, uh, but it's a number two sport weight yarn, so this could easily be dressed up by choosing one of the Be So Sporty or Be So Sporty Bling yarns. Be So Sporty Bling would be gorgeous for this for a holiday party this coming season. See, so your arm stays completely exposed here. Super duper cute. And you can find this project in Layers Crochet. Show you that book here, show it to you in here. And I'll post links to all of these items, the Morgana, top is crochet. It's in layers crochet and it is also sized. It's sized for a small, medium, large 1x and 2x and it requires four, five, six, seven, and eight balls of number two sport weight yarn, whether you were using Be So Sporty or Be So Serene. Um, okay, so I'll bring this back to the front now and the rest of the pieces here this is the cover piece from Layers Knit. And this is a beautiful poncho slash vest, depending on how you style it. So it's two rectangles that are sewn together, and then I laced up the front. You could, and sewed up the side seams to create sleeves, 
and then added fringe along the bottom. Now, what you could also do with a piece like this, do I have a tie here that I could do for, hold on. Yes, I do have a belt. Okay, so this is a belt for another project, but I just wanted to show you that if you wanted to belt this, you could insert a belt, whether it's store-bought or handmade like this, and you could insert it at the natural waistline of your piece. This is also very customizable. It comes in multiple sizes, and I'll tell you what sizes it comes in in a minute. And not only does it come in multiple sizes, but you could also make this longer if you wanted it to be a longer top or a longer layering piece. So you can see how cute that looks belted. Imagine if I did the belt in the same color as my under layers, or if I did the belt in the same color as the project. This was done in Be So Soulful. Be So Soulful, my number two sport weight sock yarn, but it's number two sport weight yarn. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, so it would also easily substitute for Be So Sporty and Be So Sporty Bling. And I'll tell you in a second, what sizes it comes in. Comes in quite a few sizes. Here it is. It's sized for 32, 38, and um, let's see, wait a second. It's sized for a small, medium, a large, extra large, and a 1X, 2X. Because it is a loose, flowy piece, I did it in double sizes like that. And so also you could make this much wider, you could make it much longer. It's just the two rectangles that are made and then sewn together. I added fringe at the bottom, but you could also just make the rectangles longer. Someone mentioned that it's very slimming when you add the belt, absolutely. Anytime you have a loose flowy piece and you can add a natural waist belt into the center here, it is absolutely slimming. It looks like a fitted garment even. It looks, it's really amazing. I love these pieces. And when you do it in a yarn that has lots of drape, and all of my yarns have lots of drape. It just makes such a difference in the way something flows and the way it moves with your curves and moves with your movement. When a yarn is stiff, you don't get that same flattering look. So it really does make a difference in the way your finished garments look, depending on how much fluidity and drape your yarn has in the first place. Ah, I didn't say what this piece was called, and now I can't remember. So hold on a second. Let's see. <laughs> so not like me to not remember names. I guess I've just got too many, too many names and numbers on my head these days. This is the Amelia. Ah, named after Amelia Clark, the mother of dragons from um, Game of Thrones. Okay, so we'll put that piece back. And then we have the Celine Ruana, which the Celine Ruana is done in number two sport weight yarn. Also, this is done in Be So Serene yarn, but because it's number two sport weight yarn, I feel like it's an easy piece to substitute for um, Be So Sporty yarn as well. So this one's done with a solid back piece and then two front pieces joined at the shoulders to the back. See if I can back up enough for you to see the whole thing. There we go. And so what I did was make two ties to sew down the sides here to close it up because I wanted you to be able to wear it as a Ruana, which would be without the tie. I wanted you to be able to tie up the front and make it like a poncho or use a butterfly clip or use a shawl pin and close it like that. And then it's just nice, loose and airy. But if you made a belt as well, watch this. And this would work with or without the sides seamed with those tassel ties. What you wanna do is find your natural waistline. And I'm just loosey goosey guessing it because I'm not even looking at a mirror right now. If you were looking at a mirror or laying it on your bed first, it would make such a huge difference. Um, and then tying it. And this could be a store-bought belt or it could be a, um, a handmade belt, doesn't matter. And look at how put together that looks. I could do it with the shawl pin 
or without, I could lace up the front like those laced up sides, and I could show you that in a second too. It's amazing how many different ways you can wear a piece that is just loosely structured like this. But how beautiful is that? Once I belt it, it creates this sleeved look, which just looks so flattering. But let me show you that you could also take what, make a third tie like these corset ties here and you could do it up the front as well. I mean, imagine doing it in the same yarn, obviously. But um, did I do that straight and even? I don't know. It's pretty hard to tell here on without a mirror, but I'm trying. And I think you get the gist. Okay, it would be really great if you could see the color though. You're not gonna be able to see the color because it's dark like my under layer. But when I come close to a light, maybe that'll help. But look at how that just pulls it together. Can you see that? I could even have gone a little higher doing it. I could have done that a little bit higher. I could have started it here. Let's try that. If I were doing this, I think I would start here. And I just don't have a lighter layer to layer lighter belt in here to show you right now. But if you started it here, this would just be so pretty. I love things that are laced up like this, as you know. <laughs> Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of another. Oh, no. Okay, can you see the lacings now? Yeah, you can see if I come closer. Look at how pretty that holds it all together. I love that. So you would wear, do a tassel tie for each side, if you like that look, or you would leave those open, and you would make a third one for the center here. And this one would be, this one comes in multiple sizes as well. This one is sized in two size ranges as well. So it's a small, medium, an XL, and a two, and a one X, so small slash medium is one side size. Large slash slash XL is one size. Then two X slash three X is the th third size. And that's called the Celine Ruana, and it's in layers crochet. Oh, next up is a piece from Layers Crochet as well. And this is the Meadow Poncho. This is done in two colors of Be So Sporty yarn, which you could mix and match two colors of Be So Sporty or two colors of Be So Bling, or you could pick one color of Be So Sporty and alternate it with one color of Be So Sporty Bling. And so you're, you, would, you would see the sparkle stripe on there too, and that would be really cool. This one is also two rectangles joined together. Um, originally I designed it to be worn like this with the one rectangle in front and one in back. But I'm gonna show you once I put it on that it can be turned in the opposite direction as well. And I made, I sewed the neck on the wide side because I really like the look of this one off the shoulder a little bit. But if you don't like that look, you would just wanna join these a little closer together like that. That's it, very, very easy fix. So there's the rectangle. Let's double check that this is comes in sizes or not. I can't remember. Do, 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 do. I know it's called Meadow, so I can look alphabetically now. That's something. Yes, I sized this one as well. So this would be a small, medium, a large, extra large, and a 2X slash 3X. But take a look at the measurements and make sure that that works for you. You could also make this longer or shorter or wider or narrower based on the length of your arms and the length of your body. So super easy to uh, fool around with this one. Um, before I move it to the other side, I also wanted to show you that this is another amazing candidate. Look at that drape. See, it's the, it's the drape of the yarn that makes this type of project so amazing. If you were using a stiff yarn, you just wouldn't get that same amazing look when you make uh, unstructured garments. Structured garments, you have a little more leeway, but on unstructured garments, 
it really is about the drape of the yarn that makes them beautiful. Okay, so I just kind of willy-nilly tried to find my natural waist there. If you were doing it at home, you could do a much better job of it. But look at that. Now I've turned that into something that's definitely a little dressier. You can see my waistline. Um, so it definitely gets a lot more flattering through the torso area and seeing that natural waist and it creates sleeves. Um, now I want to show you that you could also do this turned on the side where you have vertical stripes instead of horizontal stripes. And then it actually has a v-neck both in the front and the back. Super duper cute. And it gives you an uneven hemline in the front, which is also very pretty. You can also add a belt in this direction as well. And it will still give you that beautiful waistline and give you the beautiful sleeves. And not to say that these aren't pretty in both directions without the belt. I just like showing you that you have options. But look at that. Look at how well that transforms it. And if this was a little bit bigger, this is a smaller one. I've done this one in Be So Fine yarn for a different project. If I made it in the same uh, uh, thickness as the this yarn, you would see it a little bit better or made it a little bit wider. But you can see, you can see how put together that looks when it's belted. Like I said, not to say it's not beautiful unbelted too. This is the Meadow Poncho, comes in multiple sizes in Be So Sporty yarn, and you can find it in Layers Crochet. Here is, I'm going to show you some of the super popular patterns. This is the um, Princess Hibiscus shawl then in two colors of be so sporty yarn you do the body of the shawl in one color and then you do the ruffle in a second color not to say you couldn't do the whole thing in one color but it is definitely super cute to see that ruffle in a second color and a half hexagon shawl looks beautiful in so many different ways you can wear it right up the front offset tying it like that it also looks super cute wrapped around your waist. Or you could even do it more structured as a shawl by tying it with, by securing it with a shawl pin or a butterfly clip or something of that nature like that. And it can go off the shoulders. It would be really pretty worn to a wedding or to an evening event if you wore it off the shoulders like this. Um, this would be really cool. This is a knit project. It's a free pattern on my website and there's a video for it as well. This would be really pretty picking one color and then doing a second color for the border. Or maybe you could pick be so sporty bling for the top or the bottom and do regular sporty or pick two colors of either one. But both yarns are interchangeable and all of the colors would be so pretty to mix and match together as well. Um, and then the ruffle also is ribbed, which gives the ruffle even more texture. But look at the way that shakes when you, when you move. So imagine as you're walking down somewhere. And then if you added bling to it, you'd get a little shimmer with that drape. That would be amazing. It's a super easy project. Tons of people have made this one. And that's called the Princess Hibiscus, and it is a free pattern on my website. And it's a two ball project, so either two balls um, of the same color or one ball in two different colors. And you simply work the body until you run out of yarn on the first ball, and then you start the border for the second ball, and you finish the border when you run out of yarn again. That simple. Another, let's see, um, this is another pattern on my website. This is this, uh, this is the Kimmy top. This one is also knit. And this is a seamless top down. I couldn't find the Sweet Clara top this morning. Where did that go? So anyway, the super popular Sweet Clara top is a top down crochet pattern 
that is super duper popular and tons and tons of people have made that one and you can find that on, that one on my website as well as a video series on my website and YouTube channel. And then this is the Kimmy top, which is a knit top down seamless top that or no, this is a bottom up seamless top and it has this beautiful lace at the neckline and then it's just solid stockinette for the rest. It is worn a little bit A-line. You could belt it if you wanted to, you could tuck it in if you wanted to, or you could just let it be nice and flowy as well. So however you decided to wear it, um, the yarn is just so beautiful and just drapes so beautifully that it doesn't really matter how you wear a top like this, it's beautiful. <laughs> and that lace framing your face, so nice. Hmm, I wonder why I can't find the Sweet Clara this morning. Anyway, I've been scrambling to find all of this, so. Oh, or is that it right there? Oh, I spoke too soon and I scrambled so much this morning that I pulled it and didn't realize it. Well, that's good news. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here's the Sweet Clara top. I know probably a lot of you have already made this one. Some people have probably made it multiple times. I've made at least three of these. No, I've made four. I've made a long sleeve version, this cap sleeve version, a dress, and I'm working on a cardigan now. So here's the Sweet Clara top. Really beautiful swingy top. Super cute worn over solid uh, slim silhouette like I have on right now. It looks great with the belt. Last season on Knit and Crochet Now, if you're watching that on your PBS station at home, I wore this with an elasticized belt that was nice and thick in black with a black layer underneath and it looks so cute and I was able to blouse it up then once I put a belt on, which I really like that look a lot too. But the beauty of all of this is that you can wear these things in more than one way and that's what's really really fun. Wow and we're going to be almost out of time here and I do have an appointment to get to so I'm probably not going to get to the rest of the pieces but we can talk about it another time and I will post links in the video description for where to find Be So Sporty yarn, where to find Be So Sporty bling yarn, and then I'll post a link to Be So Sporty patterns and all of the books we talked about this morning. And if you still can't find something that we talked about or something else that you th thought about, please feel welcome to leave comments and questions in the recorded version of the podcast because that's where I'll have the ability to share even more links if I've forgotten to do something this morning. Thank you all so much for your patience and understanding with the mess up with the scheduled podcast this morning. I appreciate you still finding the podcast and coming and joining me. And for those of you that watch the recorded, that won't matter at all to you. <laughs> anyway, but thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day, live or recorded, to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing the yarns, seeing the projects and chatting with me and everyone else here. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye!